Coach Lou Esposito, new defensive line coach for the Broncos. Coach, um, you came here from St. Joe's College in Indiana. Just kind of take the Bronco fans through your coaching career and how you came to Western Michigan. Uh, well, I first started off coaching actually in the Arena League. I had just gotten done. Uh, I actually played with the Bronco, former Bronco Tim Lester, there in Memphis while I was finishing up my degree. Uh, he took over at St. Joe's. I kind of got the job there as a defensive coordinator through him. Uh, he was there, left from St. Joseph's College, went to, came back to Western Michigan as a coach. Uh, I took over as the head coach there, had some good success. Uh, and every year I kind of came here during the summer for our uh, for you guys' one-day camps uh, for recruiting because at the Division II level it's a little bit, uh, you know, budgets are a little bit tighter. So here I got a lot of kids every year out of the camps that we had here. Coach Cuban had opened his doors uh, to me, and, you know, I knew a lot of the guys on staff before I got here. I, were, I actually worked with, uh, obviously, Tim and, and Jake, before I got here, but I wound up hiring A.J. Rickard, a guy that was on staff here, so I knew Knox and Coach Cuban, and I watched Ryan. Ryan actually played with my brother at Rutgers before he got here, so I was real familiar with Coach Cuban in that aspect. And uh, You know, the job came open here. I got a phone call from Coach Cuban. Uh, to me, it was just the right fit. felt good. Uh, you know, the good thing to me about being a head coach is you can kind of uh, try to stick think two steps ahead and that's what I'm hoping I'm doing here I just you know for me I'm, I'm super excited and uh, you know that's how I kind of got here. Now you mentioned you know you, you knew some of the guys that are were on the staff here or are on the staff currently with Coach Moreland um, how important is that to kind of help um, the camaraderie of the staff when you have so many new guys coming on the fact that you've known them worked with them? Uh, I think it's huge I think uh, kids these days are really really smart and uh they can see through holes and they can see if guys really buy into what they're saying, if guys are telling the truth or guys just giving them lip service. And I honestly believe, like I tell our players, if you care about the people you're around, you're going to do the best job you possibly can. And uh, I think the good thing about bringing a, a bunch of new guys in on one side is we spend a lot of time together. I've been here three weeks and I've spent more time with, you know, the defensive coaches and the coaches on staff that I've spent with my family. So, uh, you know, for me, it's it's a no-brainer. It's extremely important to do that. I, I think the cohesiveness between the staff uh, is going to spill over to the players, which in turn will spill over to the field. Um, coaching philosophy from a defensive side of the ball or just from a football sense? Uh, we're going to be a physical, tough, effort football Team and I, I know we're going to try to do that for the defense and the defensive line. That's what that's what we want to do. And I can only talk about my position as far as some of the expectations that I have, which are very similar to every single coach on the staff. You you want guys to give you effort, you want guys to execute assignments, and you want guys to play with some type of physicality. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to give effort. We're going to run to the football. We're going to get up the field and get to the quarterback, and we're going to be physical. So that's what that's what I want. And uh, I asked Coach Campbell this, and I ask you this as well. You said it, you've spent more time with this coaching staff than your family, and coaches get a lot of time, don't get a lot of time off. But when you do get the time off, what's something you like to do um, that's a hobby or maybe some people may not know that you're really interested in? Uh, I think my thing is I have a, a son that's about to turn one this weekend, uh, and just spending as much time with him and my wife as I possibly can. Uh, as far as a hobby, uh, I, I don't really have too many hobbies. I, I mean, I enjoy golf in the summer. I enjoy watching TV and movies with my family. But it's spending as much time with my wife and my son as possible. You know, for me, I'm a new father, so I want to spend as many minutes and possible, as much possible as I can with my son. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it.